Hello and welcome back to Irish Football Fan TV. Today we are at Daily Mount Park with Everton in the community. Uh, they're doing a charity cycle from Sligo to Liverpool. So we're going to interview some of the cyclists coming here today. Yeah, um, it's all for a good cause. It's all for building a um, house in Liverpool to house some homeless people who've obviously fallen on hard times. And it's a good thing to see Everton involved in something like that. And obviously we want to do our small little bit so there'll be a link in the description at the bottom of the video at the end to donate and please if you do have a spare fiver or a spare two euro or whatever just throw it towards them it's for a really good cause so and it really helped yeah. them out and there is 23 cyclists and they're trying to raise 60 grand so if you can put that together and realize uh what's that, that what that's all about then check it out all right thanks very yeah. much guys cheers <laughs> out here with Jane and Tasha from um, Hams Where the Heart Is, the cycle from Sligo to Goodison Park. You just got to Daddy Man Park here in Dublin, so you're maybe about halfway through. How do you feel? Exhausted. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Elated, but exhausted. Because yeah. um, certainly me, I didn't think, I, I thought I'll do a couple of sections and that'd be it. Um, but I actually, both of us actually did the full 130. Yeah. So. Right. We're actually um, over halfway. This, yeah. The second leg is just under 100 miles. Okay. So um, it, it's been a lot to ask of us on the first day. And yeah. a, lot of, a lot of the people who've been doing it, including myself, I've never done that <laughs> on most distance. So it's been an amazing day, bad, amazing weather, good group of people. It's been great, hasn't it? Yeah. It's been, it, we were just saying, we just got a shower before. We were just saying, it will go down in history as yeah. one of those days, one of the best days ever yeah. in terms of achievement, personal achievement. Yeah, definitely. It's just brilliant. And do you want to tell us a little bit more about the charity that it's all for and the project that it's kind of all, all the money and all the funds are going towards? <laughs> so it's Homeless Where the Heart Is, which is um, uh, part of the Everton in the Community um, uh, fundraising. But the Homeless Where the Heart Is is David Unsworth, who used to play for Everton, yeah. and he now looks after the under 23s. And they have committed to raising 230 grand to buy a house for homeless people and people who've fallen by the wayside around near Goodison Park. Yeah. So um, we were, kind of, we're part of the supporters club committee and we were how do we help kind of thing and someone came up with the bright idea of <laughs> let cycle from Sligo to Goodison. It's 230 miles which links with the 230 grand. Yeah. Um, Sligo is where Seamus is from and he was number 23 yeah. so uh, we paid 60 grand for Seamus so we said right okay we'll, um, we'll raise 60 grand which is okay. massive amount yeah. but yeah but um, we're doing well as well with, with raising our yeah. funds I think up to now well the last time I checked it's 33 and a half grand um, I haven't checked today but I've heard um, Karina's phone going ping, ping, ping whenever the, um, yeah. the donations are going in, which is absolutely fantastic. Yeah. Does that give you the extra motivation when you know times are getting tough, kind of cycling out on the road when, as you say, you're hearing little pings and oh, yeah. that more people are donating to go right well, Definitely, keep going yeah. with this? And um, this morning we had Denise and David Unsworth with us this morning, and 
one of the things he said was, if it is getting tough, then just think about what the people were doing this for, and yeah. and they will get you through it. And it it did, it definitely did. Mm. And finally, you looking forward to the morning, getting up, getting off the boat nice and early, and going well, all the way back to Goodison Park. The, the, <laughs> the way it works is we're getting the ferry at two in the morning. Yeah. And um, it's only three and a half hours, so we're kind of having a rough night, yeah. um, and then going into going into the hundred miles. So we'll see how it goes. We've got no idea what what, what we'll be able to we'll do. What state will be in tomorrow morning? But. We'll give it our best shot. Yeah. Okay. Well, thank you very much, and hopefully you get up to the 60 grand by the Cheers. time you get to Goodison tomorrow. Thank you very much, and we'll have a link in the description down below at the end of the video as well. So please make sure to go and donate whenever you can because it's for a really good cause. Brilliant. Cheers, guys. Here with Joe from the Irish Toffees now, and then um, we're here for the Homes Where the Heart is for the Evan and the Community Foundation for Sligo to Goodison. How do you feel? You know. They just got here today, man. They look tired and all. Yeah. You're grateful that you've not done it or that you've not done the cycling yourself. Oh, I'm absolutely. When I seen them cycling in, I said, "Oh my God!" I mean, coming down the lane, you just see the tortoise. And then when they stepped off the bikes, yeah. the limbs were just burning up. So I mean, it was, it's a fantastic achievement to me, and it's only halfway now. Yeah. I mean, they still have to go from Hollyhead to, to Gullison. So I mean, like I said, a fantastic achievement. And, uh, I will. No, no. And uh, being an Everton fan as well, obviously you've been out with Goodison Park and stuff like that. And how important would something like this be to the community around Everton and around kind of the stadium itself? Because obviously they want to build a house in a close proximity to the stadium, with it helping people who have lived close to the stadium and been misplaced by different issues. No, it's huge. I mean, I know I say it all the time. We're not just a football club; we're a family. Yeah, a global family. Whether it's Ireland. England, America, we all just go, and something like this just brings everybody together. And it might be just a home in Liverpool where everyone will donate and we'll all be part of that family and we'll all be part of the home in England. So it's just a fantastic charity. And not just today, there's been events before. Once we had a sleepover in Goodison with uh, all the other 23s and they slept overnight and it was like the middle of October, it was absolutely freezing. Not like today, yeah. the hottest day of the year, and they chose to cycle from Sligo to Dublin. But, uh, like I said, we're a, we're a family, we're not just a football club. And um, obviously you're involved with the Irish Toffees and um, any, or, or any Irish Everton fans who might be watching this video who aren't involved with, aren't involved with that supporters club, how, do you want to tell them what it's about and how you can maybe get involved in it? Yeah, yeah, sure. We're going since officially in 1992. Uh, well, a group of us have known each other from way before that. And uh, it started basically to get people outside Dublin involved in supporters clubs rather than like sitting at home or sitting in the pub watching a match on your own yeah. to come and get involved with a, with a group. So we set up uh, Jim Carney and uh, Duncan Ken and a couple of others set it up in 1992 and we've literally gone from strength to strength then and uh, at the moment now we're, we're touching nearly 500 members but there's, there's, there's a few clubs in Ireland, six, seven sports clubs. So I'm going to say to you, not, not just get out and join the Irish Toffees, just join a club. Yeah. Because like, the more you are together, the better things you can do. Especially coming out in the next couple of years, teams are getting tight for seats at Goodison. And it's going to be very, very hard to get a seat if you're not in a sports club. So just get out there and join any sports club. Yeah. And then finally, on a more lighter hearted note than all the rest of it, Everything, couple of signings so far in the offseason or in the summer, a couple more being rumoured and stuff. How do you think he's will fare next season? Maybe without Romelu Lukaku, but maybe it's more together team. Yeah, I think so. Uh, I mean, we spent 60, 56 million in one day. Yeah. That's more than any transfer window uh, ever. So yeah. it's, just, like, it's exciting times to be an Everton fan at the moment. Uh, we still have a lot to catch up on because it's just money now. I mean, the likes of Man City, they could spend 56 million on one player. Chelsea the same. So we need to spend big just to, just to stay at the same level we are now. And hopefully now, Mashiri has a few bob in the bank, so you never know. Another couple of signers, and we'll see where we go. Possibly top four. Perfect. And then one final one, because it just popped into my head. You told me yourself there before we um, came on to do the, actual, or do the actual interview that you played at Goodison Park, reasonably enough. How was that for a buzz for a big Everton fan to play on the ground, play on that hollow turf that so many of your 
your heroes and idols have played on over the years. It was, it was magic. It really was. It, it was tied in with the Irish Toffees are 25 years old this year. So someone had asked me to try and organise a match over there. We had initially planned to play against the Windsor Rovers. They have a football team. And then I contacted Everton. I heard that you could play, you could hire the goals and once the season is finished. Yeah. So and it, it went from there and 45 of us ran out to Z cars three weeks ago and it was just played on full pitch. Uh, it was just just dreams came true for 45 lads and it was just just mad to run out to Z cars, like I said, like Dixie D and Bob Latchford, you know, all these lads, Kevin Sheen, they've all come out to this and yeah. to be in the same dressing room, you know, just just, just magic. But, uh, well, people, people say it once in a lifetime experience, but never know, we might do it again next year, see how it goes. <laughs> and did you win? I can't remember. No, no. <laughs> there, was, there was actually two, there was actually, there was actually two <laughs> matches, and it was kind of fairly matched. The first match was 2-0, a yeah. couple of dodgy offside off so goals, and the oh, second match was one all. So it was kind of, you know, it wasn't like a hammer and either side, but it wasn't really, it wasn't about the... Oh yeah, of course not. Yeah, no, not really. It wasn't yeah. about score. It was just about like forty-five lads making their dreams come true, and oh, yeah. it was just magic. It really was. Yeah. Okay. Well, thank you very much, Sam. Hopefully, more people get involved with supporters clubs, with Everton and other clubs around the country. Get involved with it. It's a good thing to get with, and you can get to get over to games with it and stuff like that, and get involved in amazing things like playing on your own side's turf, maybe one day. Yeah. So, thank you very much, Sam. And okay. hopefully, we'll talk to you again soon. Okay. Thanks very much. Cheers. Oh, no. So Jason and Phil here just cycled from Sligo all the way up to Dublin. You're just over halfway back to Goodison Park. How do you feel after the first day of the cycle? Oh, it's fresh as a daisy. <laughs> so, well, to be fair, it's been one of the hottest days Ireland has had on recorded history. Yeah. Because you're like yourself, quite pale. Yeah. Which is fine. <laughs> so we've all caught the sun. We've all been um, on a bike for cycling for 10 hours, but actually out for... Was it 16, 17 yeah. hours we've been out? So we've been, been out since uh, 6 this morning. So it's, it's, it's been a long day, but it's been enjoyable. Yeah. It's been, been, it has been wonderful, as Jason said. Hottest day, I can't remember. I like, frequent, fairly frequent visitor to, uh, to Ireland, but I've never known a day like that. But all I can say is the camaraderie amongst everybody, all the cyclists has been wonderful. Obviously, we've split up a couple of times, but we've got back together, regrouped, and all met up to make sure everyone's got back safely. Uh, the hospitality we've received has been unbelievable. Lightroom Cycle Club, I'd like to mention them, they provided an unbelievable breakfast buffet for us. Excellent. Uh, obviously yourselves here, you know, yeah. uh, invited us to use the facilities, showers and a little bite to eat and obviously a beer or two just to yeah. help us sleep tonight. Well, the free bar, to be fair, is more than generous, so we're going to indulge ourselves, isn't it? A free bar? Excellent. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, I didn't a free bar. Well, I'm just going to go and say that the, the lads with the mic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He did, he did mention your name, I'm yeah. sure he did. And then um, just a little bit on the charity as well, obviously it's um, very, close to, very close to ourselves and being an idea that's close to Goodison Park and everything like that and to the community. How important is the charity to yourselves personally? It's very important, obviously. I mean, there's too many homeless people and especially kids out there, which is yeah. a shame. It's a sad indictment on society today. If the club, the under-23s, can do something and we can do our little bit to help, then, you know, so be it. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's an important cause and quite close to us. David Unsworth and, and them under-23, the, the reigning you know, Premier League two champions, yeah, yeah. as you're well yeah. aware. Although you did lose in the Premier League Cup semi final to my club, so I'm just going to put that out there. Did you get a cup? No, we lost. Well, we got a cup, so <laughs> let's not go there for that. But oh. them lads, them young lads, uh, slept out around Christmas time at Goodison and it was absolutely freezing. They've done their bit. David Unsworth's got this initiative going for 16 to 23 year old homeless people uh, to give them a start in life. It's going to be quite close to Goodison, so it's you know it's, it's really close. Everton in the community have really strong links to the local community, and they do a fantastic job. And we've had a, a lot of support from them today. It's some of the guys here, you might be able to bump into them, uh, but they, they work so hard, and they've, they've give us a good hand. Even though we're doing all the hard work, just let me make sure you know that. But they've helped. <laughs> just to say, even though it's an Everton in the community project, and it's going to be around Goodison Park. It's not colour specific, 
Yeah. So, you know, if, if there's a red, young le- red lad out there who's homeless, you know, we'd be welcomed in. And because everyone, yeah. football, no, you know, colours no, no boundaries when it comes to things like this. You know, it's helping the, helping the community. Yeah. You know, unfortunate as they are being Liverpool supporters, <laughs> it's, 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 it's twice the unfortunate that the situation they're in, if we can help them in any way. Yeah. Yeah. And then, obviously, as a hopping on the boat in a few hours to get out to Hollyhead and then go all the way back to Goodison Park, how are you feeling about cycling in the morning? Feeling like there's a mini bus there. <laughs> Possibly nobody knows. Just jump in that for a couple of hours. No, no, no. no we've, we've, got, so what, well, we've, done, we've done the art part today. Yeah. We've got 136 miles. 136.7, but it was counting. And we've got <laughs> roughly 100 miles to do tomorrow. Hopefully, the sea voyage tonight is going to be nice and calm. Get back to Hollyhead, get ourselves organised, and then we've got a nice, easy trip back to Goodison. We're getting the ferry across the Mersey, uh, so there's going to be a lot of friends and family that are going to be yeah. meeting us at Bearhead. So hopefully, there's going to be a couple of hundred of us getting back to Goodison Park. Yeah. Might even be a detour on the way back via Bramley Moor. We're definitely going past Bramley Moor, we're going past. The tower. The, the, the yeah. so no, that's too early. We're going up every hill in Liverpool yeah. just to finish just it off. Just it to off. finish, yeah. Well, guys, best of luck in the morning um, with the rest of the cycle. And cheers for coming on and chatting to us today. And hopefully we'll talk to you again soon next no time problem. we voyage back over yeah. to Ireland. So what was your pin number again for the end of that? Yeah. Um, I'll tell you after. We'll oh, okay. <laughs> cheers, boys. Cheers. Right, thanks, thanks a lot, so we're Hugh Dempsey here now, we're wearing two different hats tonight and um, you've got Everton here, we've got Bowes here as well. How do you feel the night's gone and the cycle for them so far and all the way down it's like it? Oh, fantastic, yeah. Um, I think what they did today was unbelievable, lucky, you know, like it's fantastic for them to come, you know. Yeah. It's great to see them here and it's great to offer them the hospitality that we, we know we give them, you know. Yeah, and um, how important do you feel that the kind of the charity and everything they ra- the money they raise and everything. how important will it be going back to the community and well it's a great them. charity um, they've raised like, 400,000 over the last this season so fantastic and if we can be helped in any way great right? yeah and then then on your bowels hat side of things do you think uh, do you think bowels could follow the lead a little bit do you think you could get enough people together to have a little cycle or have a different fundraising event to try <coughs> and do something I think we have, we have a lot of things going on in the club, you know, yeah. like um, we have Foundation uh, who deal with prisoners in Mount Joy. Uh, we have uh, Bowls in the community, which is absolutely fantastic. You know, it's a very broad church and we have good people, you know. It's, it's good, you know, we have a good lot of people, different, different parts of the club that do good work in this area, you know. Charity, you know. Yeah, and then then rest of the season with Bowes win last as we recorded a win last night against Pats. How do you think he's going to fare the rest of the season? Top six a real a realistic target at this point. Uh, <laughs> just to, just to stay out of the relegation zone would be really really good. But uh, I think last night was fantastic. Um, really played well in the second half. Yeah. Um, and it looks well for the future. I think uh, playing away from Daly Mount they're a better team. They seem to be more relaxed and they seem to get the wind. You know, like here, draw the uh, grey, you know, Limerick, you know, it's good. Yeah. You know, if they, can, if they can get their form here, we should have no problems. But, you know, we take it each week as it comes, you know. And then finally throwing the other, the other hat onto you with the Everton side of things again. Bit of business done this week, a lot of more business for our real How do you think these are going to fare next season? As a oh, it's, it's fantastic, uh, fantastic to see. It's it's great to see that we're up there uh, competing and getting the business done in June. And you know, instead of waiting until the last day of the transfer uh, market, you know, so. <laughs> so uh, we're spending money like well, it's going out of fashion. <laughs> so, so it's great to see. So it should be good. Yeah. Okay. Well, thank you very much. Thanks for having me. You've been on twice now. We're getting a bit of an attention. Have a good The food is here. The food is here.